Hey there, it's Amelia, and in today's video, we're going to look at the Snip and Sketch feature in Windows Ink Workspace. This feature can be used to take a screenshot and then add annotations. And even if you don't have a digital pen, you can still take advantage of the Snip and Sketch feature. Let's take a look. To open the Windows Ink Workspace, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Windows Key W. And that will open up a couple options on the bottom right of my screen. And you want to look for the option for full screen snip. Double click there. And then whatever screen is on your computer, it will take a screenshot. And let's give a look at the different options at the top of the snip and sketch bar here. So on the far left, you see you can create a new snip, which we'll do momentarily, and that will allow you to take your specific screenshot of whatever window you like. You can take an instant screenshot, snip in three seconds, or snip in 10 seconds, depending on if you need time to move over to another window or locate an image. There's also an undo and a redo. And then in here, you have your different colors and pen and pencil types. So you have touch writing, you also have a ballpoint pen option. You can change the color as well as the size. You also have the pencil feature, which also has options to change the color and the size as well. You can change the color of the highlighter as well as the thickness. There's also an eraser. You can also use the undo, but with the eraser, you can select Erase All Ink if you want to erase all annotations, or just click the eraser and it will erase one item at a time. There's also a ruler which allows you to draw a straight line or an angled line, and there's also a protractor that will allow you to draw a circle. And finally, there's Image Crop. So let's just give a quick look at some of these options, and then I'll flip over to start another snip of a screenshot. So touch writing is selected and for ballpoint pen we have the red color selected. So because I don't have a digital pen I'm going to go ahead and use my mouse. So before you begin just select your pen or pencil type. I'm going to select select ballpoint pen and I'll select this um, dark green color. And then you can just, you know, you can add different symbols like a check mark. Maybe you took a screenshot of something you're working on and you want to make a notation about um, something you have to do later. Um, maybe to remind yourself of edits that you have to make. So for instance, the highlighter might be good to highlight particular titles, etc. So let's try the ruler and say we want to make like a, an angled line. So with the ruler, it's going to appear horizontal. And if you want to change the angle, then you want to use the wheel of your mouse to rotate it. So I'll just, for example, change this to a red color and draw an angled red line here. And then let's change to the protractor. And then again, you, you, you'll want to use the wheel of your mouse to resize if you want to go with a smaller or larger circle. So let's say I want to draw a circle around this um, image and text here. Once you have it sized up, then you're just going to press and drag your mouse on the edge of the circle there. And then when finished, just Click Protractor again to remove the protractor. So let's go ahead and start a new snip. But before we do that, you'll want to make sure that you saved your changes. So in here, you can use the zoom. You could save your snip. You can copy and paste it elsewhere. You can share it. And then there's some additional options in here. So let's go ahead and click the Save As, and I'll save my snip. Okay, so at this point, let's go ahead and create a new snip. So now I want to click New, and I'll go ahead and select 
snip in three seconds. This way it'll give me a chance to flip over to another window. Okay, so I flipped over to another window and then as you can see, I have these options at the top of my screen. I can do a rectangular snip, a freeform snip, a window snip, full screen snip, or close the snipping altogether. So I think I'll do a rectangular. This way I can um, omit the pane on the right. So I'll click rectangular snip. And then I will encompass this area. And once I release my mouse, it will incorporate that particular image in a new snip and sketch window. So I have some uh, area on the edge that I'd like to crop. So I'm going to use the crop tool and then just clean that up. Okay. And then once you crop, you have to either cancel it or click apply to save your crop. Okay, so I'll make some annotations at this point. Um, let's go ahead and click touch writing. And I'm just going to type the word test down here. Again, you could use um, cursive. You could make different symbols. I will attempt to do some cursive. So if you have to sign something, that's another option that you could use the touch writing for, change it to maybe black or blue ink, and then you could use your mouse to add a signature. Uh, let's change the color to a green, and I'll just make a couple annotations here, and there. Now I don't like how that turned out, so I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to use the highlighter instead and change that to a green color. Perfect. Okay, and let me go ahead and try out the pencil here. And you get the idea. So let's erase with the eraser. And just make sure that if you have annotations that you want to keep, do not click Erase All Ink. If you do, everything will disappear. But you can always click the Undo if that happens and get it all back. Okay, and let's just use the Protractor one more time to draw a circle. And this time I will draw it here. And we'll change the color to this purple color. Just make that a little smaller. And when you start drawing, just make sure you're just outside of the edge and just go right around the circle. Oops, now I made a mistake on purpose so you can see what to do here. I'll just undo that. Okay, and we'll select protractor to remove that. Now once you do draw the circle, you won't be able to resize it or move it or anything else. It's basically like drawing on a piece of paper. So again, when you're ready to save it, you can use the save option. Copy paste works that will copy the whole entire image with the annotations or share or explore the options behind this ellipsis which includes, again, save it first, but you can open another different saved file. Open with to specify what app you want to open your image in. You can print it, send feedback, go into additional settings. Now, if you do go into additional settings, make sure you do not close this window because that will also close your snip and sketch window. And if you didn't save it, then you would lose those changes. But you can explore the different settings here. You have auto copy to clipboard and the auto save, multiple windows, etc. So make sure you click the back arrow when you want to return back to your image. And then the other option is there's a tips and tricks if you want to uh, use the Windows help and get a little bit more information on the snip and sketch.
So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, go ahead and smash the like button and remember to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.